right, um, finished. Um, I need to. Uh, hello. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, so, um, wow, done it the wrong way. It's on a. How's that happened? <laughs> oh, right. So that. We've kind of messed it up. <laughs> it's on a. Shit. Um, how does that fucking happen? Let's try and fix this problem. I've got my. I've got my money. Um, so what we do is. I think there's, yeah, I don't know how that comes about. Um, right, so we're, which way are we walking back? Um, well, what we need to do is get... Uh, so I've actually picked up, oh shit, my hair and everything. Hello, welcome to the channel. Right, um, there's a tin. Ooh. You fucking tin. Iron brew. Ah, dummies. Well, fucking dummies. Right, well, there's a really interesting old building over there. I've actually videoed it already. Um, it's sitting there. I'll show you it when I get to the curb. Um, right there. And I'll have to show you. I've, I've, I've opened my big gob. Right in there, see in there? Behind the city fibre van. An old building in the middle of that. I don't know who owns it, don't know what they're going to do with it. Do they care? Probably not. Right, um, so let's just go down this way. I suppose what, uh, what I was talking about, I think I was going on a bit much on the way here about... Look at that, another tin. It's a public service. It's a public service, you know. Ugh. So I've got loads of shopping. Loads. Um, it's public service what I'm doing here. Uh, right, so... Yeah, I was going on a bit much about that guy. I mean, basically, he's indicative of um, a disenfranchised male. That's what he is. So, if we can try that, I quite like them. I would, you know, they are cool, but there's a big problem with them. That the only you can only do 30 miles per hour in the UK. Um, so, you know, it's like, you really can only use them cities. I mean... What happens if I get one of them? That's all right, coming up here. I don't know, I wonder if you can... Um, I wonder if you can fiddle with them. I'm not actually sure about that. Um, I think they can do 50, you know, in, in other countries. Probably in France and that. Um, the sort of an army. I could buy one of them. It's feasible. It's just... That's why I'm not doing it, because I need to be able to go faster than 70 miles per hour. Because um, this is a city, but I live on the edge of this city, so I'm going to have to go out of it, out of the city, which I do regularly. The fact is, I don't really need it. Pigeon! That's the great thing about this technology, you can actually capture pigeons and everything. And birds and you can look at the still shots quite quickly and easily the frames you know different um sort of like um you know just different shots of them and everything like that um one of the reasons i don't like sort of like filming people too much is because well there's one it's rude but set well it's kind of rude as long as it's not too close but equally I don't really want to either, I mean, unless it's somebody interesting, but um, 
Snap on. Yeah. Snap on. Wow. Just don't get in the mechanics into debt. <laughs> well, if you want to fix cars, you've got to have the equipment, haven't you? Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Right. You've got to have the equipment to be able to do it. So, you know, I'm a fairly robust person, I think. I'm a bit, well, no, I'm not. I'm fragile. This will part dental practice. Uh -huh. Um, That would be handy for me now. The one I got is down the town. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm fragile like everybody else, I think. And I think most people are fragile. So they, they are, why I was rabbiting on about that guy this morning, Dean, Dean Toner, and he's, he's lost. He's got no hope. You know, he's, how's he gonna get a woman? I don't even know him. I'm just making assumptions by stuff he said, um, which are usually pretty reliable. Um, so young men, in this country, in the United Kingdom, they don't stand a chance. They've been done over quite royally, especially if they're white. If they're white, and nice Mercedes. If they're white, um, they've got no no hope. Um, that T Reg, the T Reg Merc. Young white men, no. You <laughs> can, you know, unless they're able to fast track themselves into something better. You know, like, um, it's a learner. Pass with me. If they can fast track themselves, they have to be into something. And of course, you've got AI coming in as well. Uh, artificial intelligence. Um, all these issues. 148.9. All these issues coming in. Um, how, do they, how are they going to survive all that shite? They've got no chance. Do you electrical contractor? Must do a lot of pylons or something. He's got Toyota Hilux, four wheel drive. Um, so he's, he's a dispossessed, I suppose. I mean, I'm dispossessed. I'm not trying, I'm not going out my way to go and give people a hard time, but I, I like to challenge people. And he doesn't want to be challenged, he just wants to be. He wants to share American stuff, stuff from American corporations, uh, uh, anti-government, against the government, well, it's ironic because he's actually, he's being fed from the system that he thinks he's against, um, which is British car auctions. Divert traffic. He's being fed by the very system he thinks he's fighting. So they're giving him the shite that he can share on his social media. A sad, useless individual. That's what he is. Like a lot of people. Uh, I don't even know him, I'm just making total assumptions here. I shouldn't, probably shouldn't do that. Um, but it's a good guess. So, what's going to happen? Is he going to overthrow the government? No. Is he going to be of any use? No. So you've got to have some kind of grounding in reality, is what I'm saying. It's my, my point of view. You can't just consider everything to be lies and everything to be fake, everything to be lie, uh, conspiracy, absolutely everything, without doing some kind of intelligent, um, intelligent examination of some basis in truth, which is lacking in a lot of these lot. Yeah, see that? That's for starting my fire. That. See that there? <laughs> it's not going to get your fire going. You fucking clown. It's only one bit. No, it's going to go in the fire. Um, it's quite a good place to stand here, actually. We need to get back and get a breakfast, though, don't we? So, I think I'm, I don't know what, what I'm going on about this far. I think it's just that most of us are lost. You know, I'm lost. Right, can we talk about the matriarchy and the patriarchy? Yeah, let's talk about that. 
um, forget you not. Um, the patriarchy and the matriarchy. So somebody put something up yesterday. It was a book. I forget the name of the author. It was a reference to a book, and it's about how women dominate men. And uh, I was reading it. The well, not the book. I read. What's it called again? I've forgotten what it's called. A sort of extract, and um, the. The extract? The gl I've forgotten. I've forgotten what it's called. But essentially it's saying that how women manipulate men and dominate them, but it's it is true, but like everything, like everything, it's supposed to be you should have really ideally any situation between two parties whatever it may be, should be have some kind of reasonable outcome for both parties. Ugh, burning hell! Here's City Link bus coming. So, I like going to City Link buses actually. Yeah, this guy looking at <laughs> I should have given him a wee wave actually. So, I mean, it's because I'm holding on this bag. Um, There has to be some kind of uh, agreement between two parties. So if there's tyranny on one side, and um, so the analogy here is with the government and the people. Um, uh, G wagon. The problem I've got with a lot of people is that they just believe anything. So they've gone full out. So really, I'm hanging around with the wrong people. I need to, I need people who can articulate and discuss things, exchange views, and uh, have a sort of open mind. Liar Co. Working together for tomorrow. Yes. Have we got a tomorrow? Yes. So we need to have some kind of reasonable nuanced discussion about everything. And if we're just going to be complete all out, hundred percent conspiracy theorists, then we're not going to get anywhere. And the government and all the people that are making you do all these things are going to laugh in your face, and you ain't going to change at all. That's a fact. And I've had, I've kind of had. Um, clash. I've, I've, I've had problems with that type before. The, they're men. Yeah, they're not women. Women don't really get in it. Well, maybe they do. No, that's not true. Maybe some women do. There's a Mercedes up here, and I thought it was the one that was back there. It's actually pretty much the same car. Um, what's he doing? Um, this one. I thought it was that one. I quite admire this actually. That's a great form of transport to have. God, I think that's spew. And that's nice. I mean, having it parked here like that, um, it's a C CLK320. I don't know if that's got six cylinders or no, I don't know. So, I would like to have a car like that here, yeah, but the problem is that there's not enough. Um, uh, what? Wait, there's not enough what? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're talking shite again. There's not enough. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. So, right, so what? Right, the matriarch and the patriarch. So they were kind of discussing. I'll try and paraphrase it. I'm trying to remember what it was. They were saying, and I could, I've experienced this. They were saying that the women control the men, and they, they go out to catch a man and enslave the man. Um, and so that the man pretty much has to well do as they're told. So the women get the man, and and there's the women are spurned on by other. Women to cool cars, they are cool. These, uh, I think they're like huge engines, like probably V12 or something, or no, W8 or something. Anyway, so they're spurred on to control and dominate. So once a man has children with him, he's pretty much got to 
provide and be a slave and do everything for the women. That, I think that, I'm not sure that's really working now for them. Uh, I'm pretty sure it isn't. Um, I think that's kind of... Because what's good for the goose is good for the gander is a problem they've got. So they've got two sort of like all these rights and the laws on their side, definitely. You know, the misogyny laws and the Labour government's trying to make it a terrorist offence. Uh, to, um, I mean, it's quite ridiculous um, to, to make um, uh, misogyny terrorist defence. It's fucking hell, what shite is that? So, things need to be reasonable on, on both sides, and if they're not, then that's why m my marriages didn't work. Um, so I like to say it on hindsight, you know, hindsight is wonderful. Uh, it's wonderful to go out to use hindsight. Um, but hindsight doesn't always work, does it? It doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. Uh, um, so it's not working for both parties, that's why Western civilization is doomed. Um, so what happened to me was uh, I got married and had it twice and um, basically because I couldn't or wouldn't give them what they wanted. Um, obviously there's faults on both sides but my sister did this to me as well. I was rejected from the main body of the family because the matriarchal... So the matriarch... Um, the matriarchal side runs the family and as such as the men provide the wealth so I'm in our family and the women provide they they organize social gatherings and events and who does this or that and other will send cards there's a lot of tins here um, they organize all that so because I was rejected from that you can work out for yourself why. Um, I am not allowed or not invited. And the, so the, the, the men in the family, um, my brother and my dad was like that, he's dead now, but they were sort of in, ineffective. So what happened was, where's well, Zafira? What happened was, um, the just sort of gave in. So there was times when they should have been men and done manly things, stepped in and said, "No, that's not happening," or "This is happening," and they didn't. And my brother and my dad both did that. Um, that, that happened many, many times. And so they're not, that they're ineffective men, ineffective males, dominated by a tyrannical hierarchy of uh, matriarchal psychopaths. So, so I can identify with that, but not all, not all, ma not all, you know, they're not all like that, you know. Is it something to do with being Scottish? Could be. I mean, but my dad was, was Protestant, so he followed Protestant ideology, so they used that against him, you see. They actually, there's loads of tins here. It's fucking millions. They used that against him because they knew he would stick by, um, you know, any stick by. You know, if you follow, if, if you're follow Protestant ideology, you stick by um, specific rules. You know, like some man like him, he's not going to ever change from from these, from that ideology. Um, so then they can manipulate them. Uh, <coughs> get quite a lot of tins a day, oh God, yeah. Cleaning up the community. I'm cleaning up your community for you. They start slagging me off, you know? Because I'll look at that sort of minker or something. So well, I'm cleaning up your shit that you've just dropped in the, and I'm getting it recycled. Because I'm not a dummy. And it says, oh look at, 
Look at that fucking weirdo going about picking up tents. Yeah? Well, if you didn't drop them, I wouldn't have to pick them up, would I? You know, you have a bit of pride in your surroundings. I suppose you're going to blame that on the government. See, in a lot of ways, I, I kind of... I get it why we're being enslaved by globalists. Because a lot of us are stupid. You know? We really are morons and dumplings. Uh, a bike line there. But, um, so it's... It's not surprising they're going to do that to you. So here we are, walking down the A9. Uh, there's Broom Road there. I think it's time we ended this video, so thanks for watching. Uh, it is a bit of a tricky junction, this actually. Yeah, maybe they, yeah, I should probably put a they should probably put a roundabout in there. Would that not be better? And what happens? You get naturally you'll have people parking their um, parking their cars there. So um, I don't want to freak this driver out. You get people parking their cars there, so um, it makes you have to go over at the middle to turn right if you're turning right onto that road. Uh, so that's how it works. So thanks for watching. Bye! Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget. Bye!